Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Thomas Wood and Tales, Episode 74, Ends of the Tale. The engines on the island of Sodor have been working hard with half the engines away. I gotta say, very different vibe on the railway than usual, said Toby. I agree. Doing multiple jobs at once, the railway being less crowded, a lot of things are different. Well, it looks like the sun is going down. We should probably get some sleep soon. Tomorrow is a busy day. Meanwhile, Connor and Mr. Peterson had been bonding with each other. Now I think it's time to make our way to Sodor. I agree. Which way do we go again? Well, it looks like Sodor is just up ahead. I say we go left. Perfect, said Connor. That midnight, Thomas had woken up. You know, said Thomas, I've never really seen what the island of Sodor looks like at midnight. Maybe now's the time, especially with everyone asleep and half of the railway being away. Thomas had successfully left Tidmouth Sheds. It felt different chuffing through the railway alone at night. He had noticed a forest that he had never seen before. A forest? I wonder if anything special's in here. I found Hero in a woods, so I might make a second discovery in this forest. Thomas slowly made his way through the forest. Doing so, he found someone that he thought he would never see again. Now this is a side I like to see, said Mr. Peterson. The Sodor sign, up ahead. That means we're close to destruction. Just then, the Venturous and Pinion showed up. Hey, I know you. You're the Venturous. You are the controller of that engine who now resides in that forest on Sodor. Not me. And who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. I'm Pinion. I'm a truck that works with the Venturous. Well, I'm gonna need to test ya. Are you actually evil? Do you have any sort of motivation for any sort of world domination, or railway domination, or whatever? Something about you tells me otherwise. I mean, I am. Why else would I agree to work with him? Would you like to help me and Connor out? I'll fill you in on the situation. Buddy? Is that really you? Thomas! I haven't seen you since... The incident. What happened to you? A few years ago, I ran into my old controller, the Ventress, while working. He said he wanted to talk. We had a discussion about how I argued about the unfairness of his railway, in which I was abandoned from. He took me to this very forest and tied me up. That's terrible! Thomas's driver and fireman successfully untied Buddy from the ropes. So, where should I go? You can go with me if you want. Although you might want to be caught up on everything that's happened on the railway since you were tied up here. Well, I heard that our greatest enemy, Mr. Peterson, destroyed the islands. He didn't. And everyone is looking for clues as to who his real identity is after finding out it's someone, or something, in a mask. It might even be two things in the mask. Anyways, I'd love to return to the rails. I will gladly join your crew. In fact, it's mostly because we have a... history with Sodor. What happened? It's a long story. But to sum it up, they stole our engine. I haven't seen Tidmouth Sheds in four years. I know. Also, I'd recommend whispering the engines are asleep. Right. Wait, isn't it like midnight? What are you doing up at midnight? Curiosity, I suppose. Here we are, 
said Mr. Peterson. Sodor. Who are you? Oh, I'm the Sodor entrance guard. The Sodor entrance guard. I guard this entrance. Let's see if you can get through. I don't have time for this. Um, what do we do? To get through the Sodor entrance. Tell me a word that rhymes with the word that I'm about to say. First off, right. Night. May. Day. Doug. Rug. You got all three correct. You may enter the island of Sodor. Well, that was easier than I expected, said Mr. Peterson. All we had to do was guess what words rhyme with what. He didn't even recognize you. I'm just glad we made it through. Sodor, we may have failed last time, but not this time. There's four of us now. The engines threw a welcome back party for Buddy. Soon, all the other engines had returned. The railway had gone back to normal again. Or at least... They saw it. That's the Sodor Emergency Awards! Ladies and gentlemen, let the show begin. Before you start your sing, I'd like to say that we have some clues as to who you are. Oh, and there you are with the new villains. New villains? I think he's referring to you. Well, as a matter of fact, we're nothing new to being villainous. Wait a minute, said Buddy. You two are my old controllers, Mr. Binchkin and Pinion. I go by the name The Ventress now, thank you very much. Those two are your old controllers, asked Sir Top of Matt. Unfortunately, yes. What did you just say? Ah! Don't think you can hide from the greatest vehicle on Earth. Ah! Oof! Buddy! Are you okay? I think I am, said Buddy. A quick visit to the Steamworks and I'll be fine. The Steamworks fixed Buddy in under an hour. Throughout the hour, it was rather nothingness on the island. We have gotten nowhere in the last hour. I'm seriously getting bored. And honestly, if there's anything to spice things up right now, it's me. And what would this be exactly? Well... You all have spent a lot of time figuring out, or trying to figure out, who I am. Even though it's impossible without being me, because I'm just so great. I think it's time to reveal my true identity. <laughs> See what this is. BAM CAN! I exist too. Well I knew. Connor! What are you doing up there? With Mr. Peterson? Or I guess Spam Cam and Specto. Who's Specto? I know who Spam Cam is, but not him, said Buddy. I pretty much just work with him. I've been there for his whole journey of wanting to complete control over the railways. That's why we created Mr. Peterson to begin with, to take over. Which we haven't done enough of right now. Come on, everybody, pick up the pace. Let's begin this fight. Make sure that we win this time. I'll contribute with my plan. Okay, but we'll need something interesting. Not something that's already been done as a scheme a thousand times, said Specto. Let's haul around and think of something. All right, engines. Let's haul around and think of something. Now, the railway's been like never before in the last year. And this might be the biggest thing we've done, protecting our railway-wise. So, 
Let's do our very best and live to what Sodor stands for. What does it stand for? asked Stanley. Nothing, that's just, well, I don't have time to explain. Let's go! Need any help? I didn't know you were still here, Bill. Yeah, I just got here using my uh, flying vehicle. It's called the Billigan. You have a rocket? Wish I knew about that. We're ready. Well, we are too. So we've got double the ready. Not only that, but double the engines. Attack! So, hop into the Billigan. I have an idea to help us beat these guys. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. Mm, three, mm, two, mm, one, mm, blast off. What exactly are we doing, though? You'll see. Meanwhile, the wicked Thomas of the West had arrived on Sodor. He wasn't there for revenge or anything like that, but for a prank. Can I can yes? Can I can yes? Oh great, he's back. Look at Thomas, it's not the right time to make a comeback. We're defeating some villains right now. They're a major threat. Yeah, mm, yeah I'll join. No, don't. But it was too late. The wicked Thomas was approaching the Ventress. Oh no. And at the same time, Sir Topham Had and Bill the Workmen were landing at Spam Can Inspecto. We need to slow down. There's an engine there. Is that the wicked Thomas of the West? The Billigan crashed in the Spam Can Inspecto, breaking them into pieces. They barely missed the wicked Thomas of the West. Did we just defeat the two engines behind Mr. Peterson? Gasp! We did! Sodor just made a huge victory! But you still haven't defeated us. Well... Let's do it. The rocket had been given more fuel, and soon blast off. However, something terrible was about to occur. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. The rocket had caught on fire, but while Bill the Workman had jumped out in time, Sir Topamat had been severely injured. Sir! Bill the Workman called an ambulance, which arrived quickly. All the engines were worried. Is Sir Topamat gonna be okay? asked Edward. I don't know, guys. The railway had been silent for a bit. No one knew what was going to happen next. The villains were starting to get impatient. You've already defeated two of us. Maybe start on us now, if you can. What do you say, guys? Should we try and defeat them in honor of Sir Topham Hatt? Let's do it. For Sir Topham Hatt. Say, said Thomas, don't those troublesome trucks have powers? Oh yeah said Flynn. Maybe they could help. They aren't allowed to use their powers anymore, said Percy. I'd say it's for a good reason here, said Thomas. Let's recruit the troublesome trucks. Man, that feels weird to say. The troublesome trucks had soon arrived. So you're saying we're allowed to use our powers right now? Yes, said Thomas. But after this, no more. Just this one time. Well, I'm just glad we can use our powers. So, to defeat them, I suppose? Yes, because your powers are so powerful, they can pretty much do anything. Okay then. Troublesome truck powers unleashed. Stand back, everyone. Um, what are you doing? This. You got us good. I'd say so. Yes. Hey, where's that other guy? I'm over here. Please don't zap me. I'm not evil. You're not evil? Nope. Never have been. Never will be. Then why were you working with Defentress? He kept telling me if I keep working for him, he'll buy me a thousand dollars worth of fuel. And as you can see, he never did that. 
But honestly, I'm just glad to be free now. Woohoo! Huh? I wasn't expecting that. So, have we defeated the whole team? Asked Thomas. Oh yeah, we have. Let's celebrate! Sodor forever! Sodor forever! What do we do with the pieces of Spamcan, Specto, the Ventress, and Connor, though? Asked Percy. I'll handle it. I sent them to an empty field, said Rocky, and in their current status, there is absolutely no way we'll be seeing them again. Got any sevens? How long will we be playing invisible cards for? Asked Connor. For a very long time, said Specto. Well, it looks like I live here now. No. Said Thomas. Fine. Come on, everyone, let's go celebrate our victory at the docks! A couple weeks later, the mayor was about to make a statement about Sir Topham Hatt. Everyone was worried. I have just gotten word that Sir Topham Hatt probably won't have the ability to control the railway anymore, he said. So sadly, there is a high chance he's gonna resign. However, he will be leaving the hospital. The engines, while sad about the first half of the news, were excited to see Sir Topham Hatt again. Unfortunately, Sir Topham Hatt did re-sign as controller, and officially went into retirement. Now this, of course, means that my son will become the new controller, and by his decision, Bill the Workman will become the assistant controller. The engines welcomed his son as the new controller. After this, the railway was interviewed several times, and the island was finally in a good state. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying his retirement, and checked in on the engines every now and then. A new chapter on Sodor had begun. So, do you like it? Yeah, Rusty Number 5, I do. I'm watching these hat commercials right now. It's the biggest hat there is. The Mega Hat is available in stores everywhere. Sir Topham Hat, I was reading this to you before you started watching the commercials, so those are distracting you. Hey! Please pay attention. There's only a couple more lines left to go. Fine. Anyways. One day, Bill the Workman was on a very important mission, in which he invented a portal for. And who knows, we may see this adventure very soon. Well, here goes nothing.